consistent style is finally possible in version 5.2 of Mid Journey. It's all thanks to a previously pretty useless feature, the Remix mode. And let's go through a live demonstration so I can show you exactly how to do it. The first thing you're going to do is generate a foundational style. Like here, I went with Gorilla, Neon Oil Painting, Thick Brush Strokes. And one little trick I recommend is to use a stylized value and a chaos value because all we're looking for is one really cool picture, one amazing style that we can then transfer to different subjects. And when you use chaos and stylize, you're bound to find something extra unique. So I'm actually a fan of number three here and I'd like to transfer this style to different prompts. The most important thing you're gonna do is turn on the remix mode by going down into your prompt box and hitting forward slash prefer remix. You're gonna hit enter and doing this is going to toggle remix on or off. You can also find it by hitting forward slash settings and clicking the remix button right here. Off, on. Now anytime remix mode is on, the variation buttons will now change their function. Previously, they would just generate similar but slightly different versions of each picture. Now when you hit the variation button, it's going to bring up your prompt box, where you're able to remix the photo into however you see fit. And again, previously this did not work very well at all, but now it's absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do is just erase our subject, the gorilla, and this is where we get to replace it with anything we want. Let's keep it simple. We'll just go with a dog. But here's something pretty important. If you generated with stylizing chaos, you're going to want to erase that from your prompt moving forward. I'll do it both ways and show you why you'll want to delete it. For now, we'll leave it on. Hit submit. We'll do it again, but this time I'll delete those values. Hit submit again. So here's the upscaled version of our gorilla. Beautiful painting. When we remixed it and left the chaos and stylized values in, we get these. Now I would say they are sort of the same style, but these values really affected the generation. Essentially, they changed what we wanted to keep about the picture. Stylized is going to give Midjourney some creative freedom, and chaos is going to add a bunch of variety. We don't want that when we're looking for consistency consistency, right? So when we remove those from the remix prompt, look what we get. Oh my god, more goosebumps. These are these are incredible. I think number three might be the closest to what we were looking for. Now we can go ahead and hit remix on this, or we can just keep remixing the previous gorilla picture. But there's another really important thing you should know. If you were to use remix on an upscale, you're going to get two options, the very strong or the very subtle. We want to use very strong, not the subtle. I'll show you why in a second. We hit very strong. We're going to edit the prompt again, and we're going to say sports car. We're going to erase those values from the prompt. Hit enter. Here it is with the strong variation and look how cool these are man. Beautiful neon oil paintings matching the same style as our gorilla. Look how powerful this is. Now you can create a consistent style across all of your art. Across all of your brand you can have the same looking images. This is absolutely insane. It has so many implications for artists all over. I can't believe how powerful this is and I don't even think it was really mentioned in the patch notes. I know they kind of talked about it briefly but I don't think this can be overstated. This is absolutely game changing, the most amazing thing and something that people have been looking for for a long time. And why I told you not to use the subtle variation is because this happens. <laughs> this is much more reminiscent of the old remix feature. We do not want this. So either use the variation directly under the original generation or use the very strong under the upscale. And if that's not working for you, that might be because you have the settings change around so that subtle variation is the default. If you go into your settings and high variation mode is not clicked and only low variation mode is, you're gonna get those weird looking pictures. Make sure high variation mode is on when you have remix on. I'll show you some more examples, but I just wanted to remind you that there are some free PDFs available to download in the description. Just some helpful stuff like some cheat sheets and some camera angles and a visual dictionary of 200 aesthetics that I still use to this day. It was generated using version four, but it's just there to give you an idea of which words you can look for if you really want to alter your prompt. And if you want even more ideas, you can pick up my variety prompt pack available in the store on my website. Let's have some more fun with this. We'll go rapid fire, we'll go very strong, and we're going to do 
Wonder Woman. And just to show you how it works, you don't need to use that original gorilla as your foundation. You can click on the cars and we'll just change sports car to castle in the sky, turtle on a surfboard, try kitty cat, try something like futuristic sound system. Oh my God, these are unreal. Oh, whoa, loving the Wonder Woman. Now by default in version 5.2, there's gonna be more variety within your grids. So in this case, the castle in the sky, all four of them aren't exactly like the consistent style we're looking for. But in all honesty, we're just looking for one picture that will match the style. I think number two is pretty close. Be careful though, if you hit re-roll with Remix on, it's gonna bring up the prompt box again. You can hit submit, but I recommend if you want a normal re-roll is just to turn Remix off really quick and then hit the button. And the reason I say that is because when you re-roll with Remix on, you're gonna get that prompt generated basically brand new. So it's not quite a Remix and it's not gonna contain that consistent style you're looking for. So if we make sure Remix is turned off and we go back up to the generation we want to retry we hit re-roll it'll now turn blue indicating that remix is off and we'll come up with these another roll another chance of getting at least one picture that matches that style you're looking for super super amazing stuff just incredible i get more goosebumps looking at these here are your turtles look how good they are here's your kitty cat the sound system can you believe it keeps that same basic structure, the black-ish background, the vibrant paint strokes? Just, this could honestly change so many lives as far as branding your personal style. And I know it's all made with AI art, but we're getting closer and closer to some sort of symbiotic relationship where the AI is really able to express what you're looking for. And maybe your brain, maybe your hands can't do it for you, but the AI will be able to. And I think that's a really special moment in human history. And and I'm glad to be able to share it with all of you. This was all about consistent style, but if you're looking to recreate any random picture you find on the internet, you can check out this video here. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.